I will never allow you suffer in pain. That was the promise I made to her. I tried my best to keep the promise. I tried. Pain was the enemy I saw, the only enemy, and I fought with everything I knew. The herbs, concussions, scarification marks, injections, and more injections. And pentazosin came. It became her healing potion and her poison. It became her chance of freedom and the link in her shackles. It became a form of imprisonment. Her bet was a thing of joy. We named her Amenze. She sat, crawled, and walked when her mates did. A very happy child she was. Then, the first febrile illness, the second, third and fourth, all in quick successions. Is she an Igbahua, like the two others that came before her? Is she her confirmed our fears? She is an Igbahua. Wow. Some people call them Obanje or Abiku. She is the incarnate of her two sisters that came before her. And she has come to punish you. Ah, no. <laughs> Baba, why? What have I done to her? She is not happy with the way she was buried when she came in her former life, like a commoner. There were some sacrifices you were supposed to make to Olopi. You refuse, and she has come to treat you in the same manner. What do you do now? What do you do? Yeah. What did you do? What did you do? There is a solution, but it will cost you money. <laughs> you will come with white eagle's feather and elephant tusk, five seeds of alligator pepper, palm colored oil, and some cash. Leave the rest for me, and she will be okay. So it was sacrifices upon sacrifices, herbs. Scarification marks, but the solution was not in sight. And the day she died, or so we thought, that was our first visit to the village health center. And she lived. But it was the beginning of a new journey, a new realization. Mr. Madarson, the child is in a stable condition. However, we did some tests on her and found out that her genotype is less. What does that mean? I'm sorry, what that means is she has sickle cell disease. She is a sickle. But it was reassuring that my child was not going to die like Emuahe and Yuri, children I gave birth to a few years before. Both had died at the age of three in similar circumstances. Years after, fortune smiled on us. We relocated to the city. She grew up into a beautiful young girl, but the pains continued. Doctor, is there no stronger pain relieving drug that you can give to her? There are. 
But we are careful not to be allowed. Doctor, if it's for money, we will pay. It is for... Madam, it's not all about money. Okay, fine. I can give her injections. But some of these injections may become addictive. Mm. Doctor, my daughter is well brought up. She can never be an addict. We have taught her self-control. To fight the pain, she had to take it monthly, weekly, and soon after, daily. It became a source of concern to the doctor. But I was not bothered as long as it kept the pain away from her. Pain was the only enemy I was fighting. I think this is turning to a problem, sir. She's craving for the drug. This is no longer about the pain. The record on her case notes shows that in the last seven days, she has been given pentazosin injection ten times. You can tell she's in pain. Will she be crying if she's not in pain? Sir, this is becoming an addiction. She's obviously craving for the drug. I'm sorry, I can't give her that injection. Rather, I'll give her a paracetamol tablet to ease the pain. I took it before coming here. It does not work for me. See, doctor, <laughs> if you cannot give her the injection, forget it. We will go to another hospital. You are heartless. In fact, you are very wicked. Let us go. A patent medicine shop was her next point of call. This too became very regular. Ameze soon learned how to give herself the injection. I thought it was a smart thing to do. At least, it was more convenient. Her mother and I noticed that her academics and social life started suffering. I, I think something is wrong with this girl. The rate at which she spends money, I don't understand. <laughs> Her local must not spend money that way. Does money still have value in this country? <laughs> One day, while searching for something in the house, She couldn't hide her craving anymore. Everybody in the neighborhood noticed there was a junkie in the area. It was a thing of disgrace. She begged anybody she could for money. We went back to the doctor for help. That was when we noticed she had a big sore in her thigh, an injury she got from injecting herself. Sir, so, 